Ciao friends, and welcome to a new Unplugged video from SQL BI. In this video, I want to show you an idea that is not one of my ideas. Indeed, I received a few days ago uh, a Power BI file that contains uh, a small DAX question. The DAX problem was kind of tricky and very well hidden, so we are going to solve that DAX problem together. But in the process of solving the issue, I learned the technique that Igor used to build the report, and I really think that uh, it's an idea worth showing, because uh, his goal was to show a column chart that uh, has on the y-axis the absolute values, but it shows the percentage inside the area as the data labels. It's much easier to look at the report together. So with no further ado, let's jump to the demo computer, we start to look at the problem, and then we will build it together step by step. Let's get started. Now, this is the final result that uh, we want to obtain. And it's interesting to see that this is a column chart that is showing the number of asteroids in the Milky Way galaxy by size. This is actually really just a bunch of numbers. Uh, it's not asteroids, but that doesn't matter. What really matters is that on the y-axis we have the absolute value, and uh, the column chart shows the percentage of each uh, section of the column as uh, the data label. So, even though it is using the absolute value to determine the size of the chart, what it shows is the percentage. And this can be solved by using a calculation item. The solution was already in uh, the file. There was a small glitch that we are going to solve together. But before solving the problem, I want to show you the entire process of building this chart. Because if you were to ask me before I had looked at this report, how to solve it, I wouldn't have no idea on how to create such a chart. So instead of showing this report, we are going to work with an empty, an empty report, we build step by step, we will have to solve several issues, and then we will finally reach the point where DAX becomes a problem. So let me jump to the empty report, and we have the same data model, asteroids, so we start by showing the number of asteroids. We slice it by year on the axis and we place the sides on the legend. That's not the chart that I want. I want a stacked column chart. Then we need to increase the font a bit because otherwise I cannot see that. So on the Y, not on the X axis, on the Y axis, we go for a much larger font like 20, and then we use from 0 to 12,000 for the range. So this is the axis, let's get rid of the legend. So good, so I have uh, the value, it shows a ten, around 11,000 and then different values. I also have the tooltip that I do hate because I use the mouse all the time. So let me get rid of the tooltip so I can move the mouse around. Then I want to show the data label. And remember, here I want to see the percentage. The thing is, as soon as I enable the data labels, this is not going to show the percentage. It's going to show the value. If I show the data labels and we use a larger font for those two, like 20, we see 403,000. Let's go for none. Now let's go for 1,000. Auto. Okay. 403,000, 4 7,000, 1.4 thousand. Instead of showing the number here, what I want to see is the percentage. And I cannot use the percentage. I do have a measure, asteroid percentage by size. But if I use the percentage, you see that it doesn't show anything because I messed up with the y-axis. So I need to go on the y-axis and reset the range from 0 to 1 because it goes to 100%. You see that now I see a percentage. The percentage should be formatted as a percentage to be visible. 
but I see a percentage, but the y-axis goes from 0 to 100%. That is not my goal. I want to see this value, but I want the axis to still be the absolute number. So I cannot use the percentage. I need to use the asteroid number. And we go again to 12,000. How do I change this value? Well, actually I can't because uh, this is the number that is being used in order to uh, display the size of uh, the chart, the size of the column. What I want to obtain is a scenario where I use a number for defining the size, uh, but I show a different value. And here is where the interesting idea appears. What I can do is use a format string and format the value as a percentage, even though I'm still using the absolute value as the number. Now, I cannot just change the format string to a percentage, because in that case, it would use the absolute value formatted as a percentage. But what I can do is dynamically change the format string to a constant value that is different for every, uh, for every cell, for every uh, item, for every point in my data series. And uh, I use uh, the percentage as the format string. So I compute the asteroid percentage and I use that as a fixed value for the format string. So the value will still be 4.3000, but the value shown once it is formatted, that will be a different number. Now, if I want to use dynamic format strings, I cannot just rely on a measure because a measure does not let me create dynamic format string. But what I can do is create a calculation group that has a calculation item, and there I will be able to create my dynamic format string. So let's do that together. We want to create a new calculation item, a calculation group, so we need tabular editor to do that. And the calculation group will let me, let me place the window in the right place. The calculation group will let me show the value as a percentage. So we just create it. We call it show as a percentage. Then we use show as a percentage also as the name of the calculation group. And we only need one calculation item that we call, as you might gauge, so as percentage. Now, the value of the calculation item, that would be the very same as uh, the selected measure. So we just use selected measure here. But what we want to do is change the form string. Now, in the form string, we are going to replace uh, the original form string with a string that contains the percentage. And that needs to be applied only on our asteroid number. So in the form string expression, first of all, we do a check that is a, sele is a selected measure asteroid number. If that is the case, what we do? First of all, we retrieve the value of the percentage. So we create a, a variable formatted value where we format where we format the asteroid percentage by size. This is the percentage that I want to use. And we use 0% a form a string that formats the value as a percentage. And finally, we return the formatted value. Otherwise, if it is not the asteroid percentage, then we just return the selected measure form selected measure format string. OK, so this code returns uh, the percentage as a string or the formatted value. Or, sorry, the percentage 
as the former string. This value will contain the string that is returned as the value shown to the user. If I made everything correctly, I can save this. Then I need to refresh. And now I have my show as percentage. I can add it here as a filter, filter on the visual. And if I click on show as percentage, you see that uh, it shows 41%, 41%, 35%. And here is my problem. Look at this number, 4383,000%. Now, this is kind of weird. From where does this number comes from? Because if I look at the total, it's 3.8,000, 3.9,000. So that value, that should be close to 40%, like 40% or 39%. It cannot be that number. Where is the problem? Well, to understand the problem, this is the dark streak. What we need to do is look at the content of the formatted value. So instead of looking at that, we look at it as a matrix or as a table that is good enough. And increase the font a bit. Where is the font options? Okay, let's go for 20 points. So you see that we have this number that is already formatted. Now I want to see the content of this format string. So what I can do is go back and change not only the format string expression, but also the expression. So let me copy the content of the format string expression. I place it as the value here. Now this is the value and I remove the former string. So I can, <clears throat> well, I can just cut everything because I place it somewhere, somewhere else. I save it. I go back and now I have the result of the former string that is useful to understand. You see that 53, 49, this is the number that was wrong. And the result of the former string is 40%. What is unique about this former string that makes it different from everything else is that it contains a zero. Now, in the former string, when you have zero, that is a placeholder for the value of the measure. Therefore, the former string will be 4 followed by the value of the measure and then the percentage. We cannot use zeros in the former string because if we do that, they will be replaced by the value of the measure. What we need to do is just <clears throat> replace that zero with an escaped zero. We use a backslash to remove the zero. We can do that here for the bugging purposes. We just say, well, instead of using the formatted value, we can substitute, substituted value, use a different value where we substitute in the formatted value, the zeros with the zero with the backslash before. And by doing that, the zeros will disappear from the former string and be replaced by this escaped sequence that will work just nicely. We do that here, we save it, look at the result, and look at how now the former string is 4 followed by an escape 0. Used as a former string, this will be not transformed in the value of the measure, but it will be 40%. Now that we have the code in the expression, we can cut it from here. Use again the selected measure for the expression. And in the former string, we use the code that we wrote earlier. I can now save it. And you see that now it shows 40% exactly as I wanted. We can get rid of that and enlarge this again. And now I reached the first part. Now I'm showing a percentage, even though the size of the chart is being is used is created by using the value, the absolute value. But I do have a problem with the y-axis here because the y-axis uh, contains formatted values and that is not 
what I want. On the y-axis, I want to have a different value. So if I go on the y-axis and on the values, I use none here, that still shows values that make no sense because they are formatted. So what I can do is use a secondary y-axis that is fed with the same measure. And then I use the secondary y-axis for the value. So instead of using this visual, I go for this one, I guess. Yes. Now I have a secondary axis. And on the secondary axis, I still place the asteroid number. I need to fix the range. It cannot go from 7,000 to 11,000. On the secondary y-axis, I want to see again from 0 to 12,000. So now you see that uh, the points are exactly at the top of each line because I'm using the same axis here and there. Then what I need to do is get rid of the primary y-axis, so I have my axis that works fine, I show the percentage here, but I still have the line. Well, actually, the line can be hidden if I just go to lines and I reduce its width to zero. Now the line is no longer there. I still have these data points that are kind of annoying. And I can do that by going on the data labels of asteroid number and get rid of them. And here we go. Now we obtained a column chart that shows a percentage in each area, but the size of the area is defined by the absolute value and the y-axis actually contains the absolute value. Now, to me, this is a very nice report because it's showing uh, percentages even though it is using an absolute value. And it's kind of a trick in DAX and in Power BI, but that might be extremely useful. So, as you have seen, we had a very small DAX issue, but uh, the thing was not the DAX problem. What I found interesting was uh, the full uh, solution that used uh, a hidden line in order to have a secondary y-axis that is useful in order to represent the absolute value, whereas uh, in the column chart, we still use the same value, the number of asteroid, but by using a calculation group, we can replace its content with a percentage. And to do that, we had to use dynamic format string. Kind of a tricky solution, I would say kind of a hacked solution, but uh, really cool. And I totally love Igor's way of thinking outside of the box, of finding creative ideas in order to solve the problem of a customer. Then, of course, there was a small DAX issue, but it was a very small part compared to the entire solution. Enjoy DAX! <laughs>